Welcome to another episode of SGC Subs. I am Steven from Breakout Cards, and today we have a bunch of amazing cards to show you. These cards, all our cards, whether it be Inventory or Ryan's PC, and the bulk of these cards came from the UK Card Show video. So stay tuned, and we're going to show you what grades we got. To start us off here, we have Flags and Birds, most of which are coming from the Allen and Ginter set. But let's go ahead and see what we got. First one, North Carolina, SGC4. Florida, the home state of me and Ryan, SGC4. United States, Jack, Flag of All Nations, and a five. The U.S. card from American Tobacco in a two. Another U.S. Jack in a three. An England card from Allen and Ginter in a two. Keeping along with the flags here, next batch. We have California in a four. Washington Territory. Texas. Ended up getting the color added. Could have maybe been on the white border to make it look nicer. Is my guess. Japan. Another United States, this time from the R&J Hill set. And this one from 1914. They also have another set, I believe, in 1934 with some baseball players in it. So I didn't even know they had 1914 until recently. And we have a few more of those, I believe. Yep, two... And another authentic color added again. Interesting because it does have that purple border there, but someone could easily color these in, and that's where I'm assuming that the defect came. We have the United States with the, I believe that's just a, a picture of the Statue of Liberty, but obviously in like a little human form, I'm assuming. But I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section if I am. A four. And a 3.5. Next we have Korea. And we have another United States Jack Flags card. All right. And going on to our birds, I believe. Let's see what we got here. The Baltimore Oriole. You know, this is the, the bird that obviously for the team Baltimore Orioles. So pretty cool there. Have not one, but two. Also was able to pull four on this one. Got a horned owl, a crow, another crow. This is our last crow, highest grade we got in it, SGC4. Carolina parrot, a wren, a raven. And then, that's right, we had two Allen and Ginter cards here. One of the Agate Arrow Point and Chief Gall. Our next two lots here are going to be Walt Disney cards and boxing cards. We're going to start with the Walt Disney stuff first. All right, so first one here from 36 Mitchells. Nice photo of Walt Disney, creator of Disney World. And I believe, so from here on, these this is one of the cards that's considered one of his rookies, if not the main rookie. And we have a lot of them here, so we're going to go through and check out the grades that we got. So first one was a 4. Next one, 5-5. Five, five. SGC 6, I believe this was our highest graded. 4.5. This one got a 1.5, I believe. I thought it looked decent, but it did have, as you can see here, the little bit of markings on the back, which probably marked it down. Thought maybe it could get around two to a three, but we pulled a 1.5 on that one. Next one, we got a five. And another four on that. So that is it for the Walt Disney cards going right into the boxing. We have the England uh, boxing cards from the Will set. I'm also familiar with a similar card from the set that happens to do with the, the baseball one. I've actually never seen the boxing one in person, so pretty cool. Next, we have a Jack Johnson from the Kona Wienan set. 
pretty nice. Definitely not a lot of whiting on here, which is awesome. Did get a five. Thought maybe this can get a little bit more, but a five is a decent grade. We'll definitely take that. Another boxing card from England. Got Joe Lewis. I believe this is one of his rookies from the from the Patriot set. Excuse me if I don't pronounce that right. Joe Lewis from the Churchman Cigarettes. Another Joe Lewis from the 36 Mitchell set, which is the same set that the Walt Disney came from, I believe. That first card. Not sure if it's the same year, but definitely the same set. The so Jack Johnson, uh, this is the white white border one from 1923. Burt Lindsay. And these these next couple cards, I did throw some uh, hockey in there. So Burt Lindsay. Have Ernest Russell. Albert Kerr. And Larry Gilmore. I think that's all for our hockey. Yeah, and then I have some little other miscellaneous ones. This one, American Indian. Really interesting card as it does have that little gilded look to it which I, I don't know i'm trying to show it from the camera but a little hard to see but yeah it's definitely a little gilded and a james garfield card from duke and sons next two lots coming up we have primarily golf and some miscellaneous cards let's see what's going on here first one we have carnal charles limberg we have Kelly Slater. I believe this is the most modern card we sent in in the highest grade as well with a nine. Sir Campbell. Einstein's Theory, Marvels of Motion. And we have multiple of the same card coming up here. Pretty cool. Next, we have a, I believe this is the Wright Brothers card. And if you turn it this way, there we go. It is a, I believe this is a German card, if I'm not mistaken, but Wright Brothers card. We're getting the one because of the stamp back here, I believe. And next, going right into our golf cards. So we have Bobby Jones from that same set that we have the Joe Lewis from. And we have two of these. One grid out so well, one grid out really well. This one was sharper, got a six. Uh, next, I guess we had two of these. We had two Churchman Ruths, and they ended up grading out pretty decently with a four and a 4.5. Next, we have pa Pablo Nermi, who's a famous long distance runner. Uh, going with the running again, we have Jesse Owens, another Jesse. This one, a three Lacoste, Pablo Normi, and another one in a five Walter Hagen, Bobby Jones, another Bobby Jones. And this one, I believe this is either his rookie or one of his earliest cards, the Who's Who in Sports, Bobby Jones, 1926. These two here are mixed lots. Let's go ahead and get it started. We have a Titanic card. This one pulled a two. It almost looks like there should have been a, a border there, but this is how the card was made, so it did get the numerical grade there. A Donald Bragman. Some people consider this to be one of his rookies. Definitely one of his most famous cars, the 1928 Ogdens. And another one in a four. A Ranjit Singh, a 4.5 from the 1897 Kona Wienen set. The Old Planter from the World Smokers set. A Machine from Allen and Ginter, N3. This is, oh, I remember, I, I, I think we've had this since I was before with a um, Amelia Earhart, but this is the James Doolittle from that set. 1915, Thomas Edison, 
I ended up getting evidence of trimming. So definitely look that over closer and see why, because I wasn't able to determine. Judy Garland, hand cut card. Charlie Chaplin, I believe these are all, these next ones are all of Chap Chapman. These are from, I believe these are just from uh, movie scenes here. Yeah, film scenes. Got a one, a 1.5, and another one. Alrighty, now we're gonna go ahead with our second mix lot. I think there's a lot of composers and I believe a lot of our black border cards. So let's go ahead, split this in half and get to it. All right, so we got Charlie Chapman, Walter Rayleigh from the Smoker set. And there we go, some of our composers coming out. We got a Mozart in the six. Got Bob Fitzsimmons, boxer. Beethoven in a five. Mozart in a four. Another Mozart in a 4.5. And a Beethoven in a four. All right, keeping it moving. We have a WG Grace from the Will set. Ulysses S. Grant, this one from a Cuban set. And I, although Susini is um, a, a, a Cuban set here, we actually have a different picture. We've shown this card before and it actually looked different from the, from the typical set. This set is a little bit different. So I want you guys to pay attention to that. And we've never shown this exact card on, on the channel, but we have shown one very like it. So keep that in mind. I believe the other one was in the 1950 Susini, and this is the 1935 Susini. Going, we got Handel, I believe he's also a famous composer. The Conan Weenan, Lord Kitchener. We have a Churchill that had evidence of trimming. Charles Dickens from Ogden's set. Another Dickens, 2.5. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow in a five. Pretty decent grade there. And a General Roosevelt, and this is from the Coosie Cigarettes. Looks very similar to the Ogden's in a two. On the right here, we have some president cards and on the left some more black border cards these last two lots we're going to go over let's get into it first off here as you can see these cards i don't believe they were hand cut but they were definitely perforated as you can see up top these are all from the r129 set starting off with roosevelt mckinley grant lincoln Andrew Jackson, George Washington, Custard Scout, Geronimo, and Thomas Jefferson. Last lot coming at you, we have Calvin from the Ogden's Guinea Gold set, a five, Ben Franklin Cousy's, a four, Harriet Beecher Stowe, I believe she was the author of Uncle Tom's Cabin in a 3.5. Charles Darwin from the Ogden set. Victor Hugo from the Ogden set. We have Marconi. Jules Verne. Thomas Hardy. The Duke of Wellington in a five. Sarasate. And last card, Enrique Morgan from that 1935 Susini set. All righty, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you learned something. I think this is our biggest sub in terms of just personal and inventory cards for breakout by far. We will see you in the next SGC sub. Happy collecting.